Hello everyone, welcome to iLearning Digital Class. My name is Steven. I want to use um, this medium to appreciate those that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm so so grateful for taking your time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for the likes, for the comments and for taking your time as well to share my videos to your loved ones on your different social media platforms. I'm so so grateful for that. So um, sometimes ago we started a project um, on this channel uh, I call it hospital management system with Node.js, um, with um, uh, ExpressJX, my SQL, and um, we use uh, EJS as the you know the, that's the uh, JavaScript template engine you know to show um, to at, at our front end. That's what we use to display what we've done in the back end. So um, okay, so I believe this uh, I've released several videos relating to this project. I've released several videos. So if you have not yet seen the previous video, please kindly just go to my YouTube channel. You just see hospital management system with Node.js, EJS, um, ExpressJS, and my SQL. So we we'll use my SQL as our database. So just go and watch the previous video. So what I'm going to be doing today, guys. So in my last video, what I did was that we were able to create um you know the the function of if we want to add new doctors to our database i mean to our hospital management system so uh, we are able to create that function we are able to create the api the api this is the api that we're going to call at our front end so we are able to do that if you want to add doctor if the doctor want to edit their profile if the doctor wants to um, upload their pictures you know i explained a lot of things um in that video how you can upload this, uh, pictures how you can uh, upload pictures to your database i explained all those things in my last video so guys, what are we going to be doing today? So what we'll be doing today is that we're going to be creating um, the function for adding employee. If you want to add employee, we want to be creating the API for that. If the employee wants to edit their profile, if they want to apply for leave, let's say for example, they want to go for two months, three month leave, we want to be able to create a function for that as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So guys, without any further ado, let's go that into the code. And um, let me quickly say this, for those that are asking for the source code of those projects, I'm going to release the source code at the end of uh, the last video for this project. I'm going to release the source code for this particular project. So don't worry, guys, relax, sit down and learn and enjoy from this channel. So don't, don't also forget to hit the subscribe button so that anytime I upload um, interesting videos like this, you'll be the first person to get the notification. So all right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is that um, let's go inside our app.js, you know, um, I'll be doing this in my, um, in my video. So we have to create um, this uh, route here. So let me just copy this. Uh, let me copy this guy here and uh, paste this here. So we just need to um, add this, this to be uh, employee. Let's call this employee. All right. So uh, we, we are going to create um, this in our, um, okay. We need, we need to create employee now inside um our controller so let me just call this um, employee here so then we have to come down here the router link that we want to use okay let me copy this then we we'll paste this here then let's change this to employee because this is what we are going to call at our front end so employee then let's call this uh employee as well all right so uh, let me save now then we have to come inside our controller we have to create a new file so le let me save this new file i'm going to call it employee.js so employee employee.js so let me save so um for the sake of time let me just come inside our uh, doc controller here i need to copy some things here so let me just copy all of these here so that i will not be retyping it so this will save us um, a lot of time so let me just paste down here uh we don't need these parts so let me remove what we don't need here. So we don't need um, this um, FX as well. We don't need this. So since we are not working, oh, since we are not working with image, we don't need uh, motor as well. So let me remove it here as well. So uh, we need to do something now quickly before we forget. We need to export our router. Let's say module uh, dot um, exports. Module dot exports. Come on. Dot export is equals to um, router now. So we need to export this so having done that um what we're just trying to do here is that we are trying to protect our routes that is if the user did not log in um if they don't log in their profile they would they will not i mean if they don't log in using their uh, email and password they will not be able to access of uh, this 
um, they will not be able to access this um, route. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to do. If they don't log in, it's going to redirect them back to login, trying to tell them that um, they have to log in. All right. So that's what I'm trying to do there. So let's proceed. So what we have to do now is that we have to say router.get. Okay. So router.get. Uh, okay. Then let's pass this here. Then the, we have to um, define a, a function now. We're going to say function. We're going to say function. Then we passed. Um, uh, request then we have response here as a parameter then we need to come out here and give this square brackets all right so we're gonna say db dot get all employee dot get um, all um, employee now okay we will soon define this inside our uh, model so this uh, this we are we'll going inside this um, what's the code now inside our uh, DB controller inside our model folder to define it uh, after we might have done with this so I think you understand it now so what we are trying to do is that we are trying to you know pass it is inside this uh, model here that we and this gets all employee will be the one to undo it in our database for us inside this DB controller so we've not yet defined this it's, it's going to be giving us all defined if we're trying to run this code so let's proceed anyway so we're gonna come here and say function now okay let's say function then uh we pass error here and response and results here as well as a parameter then we pass results then uh, put a curly bracket there then i'm gonna say that um rest dot render okay dot render then what do you want to render I want to render employee employee dot ejs okay so then uh we'll come out here to pass employee then we'll pass um result empl employee all right put comma then we we'll pass um then we'll set it to result as well okay all right then we'll pass to result as well so um the next thing we have to do now is that um okay we need to create uh the function and that function here okay let me put this here and come press enter let me bring this down all right so the next we have to do again is that we want to add if we want to add employee details now we're gonna say router.get okay router.get then uh we have this here so we need to pass add here add okay all right so we need to pass add there then we're gonna say function so we're gonna say function then we put uh, we passed um, request here then we pass response there all right so then we're gonna say rest dot render that is the response dot render uh we want to render um add uh underscore employee come on employee employee dot ejs okay so um having done that again we have to come down here to say that um router okay dot post we want to post now this time around router dot post then uh we need to uh, pass uh, we need to add as a router now we're gonna say function now okay I'm gonna say function then we need to pass this request here and um, response here as well as a parameter so uh then what are the things what are the details we want to send inside our database now you know i said the other time that what we want to do majorly is that we want to be able to add the profile i mean the, the employee name the employee um, the, um you know email address and the likes we want to be able to um add them into our database so that's what we are trying to do now so okay so then we have to say okay variable name let's say variable name it's equals to uh we have to say um require dot uh body now okay dot body then we need to pass dot name all right because this is what we want to save inside our database so let me just come down here to copy this again okay we need to get the email okay let's change this to email now this time around we need to get the email and uh let's change this to email as well so what's the next we want to get we want to get the contact um with their phone number their address and the likes so let's pass contact here so we need to change this um, guy here to contact as well all right so contacts oh uh, why do i need the spelling contacts okay contacts all right so let's come back here then the next thing again we want to do is that the join dates that is when um this uh, employee joined the company you know well, we need to pass this here as well so let's say join dates okay 
so uh let's change this to date now okay change this to date all right so the next thing again we need to do again want to get the role i mean maybe this employee is a nurse or is a driver in the company maybe the employee is a you know is a cleaner and the like so we need to be able to uh, identify their role as well so then the salary now that is we want to save their details their salary okay we're gonna say um require dot body now dot salary okay dot salary so then uh we need to send these details inside our database so how we're going to do that again we're going to say that db now db dot um add employee okay dot add employee then uh we have to pass all these things name we need to pass the name here the email then we have contacts uh we have contacts then we have the join dates the join dates uh which other things we have the role as well okay then we have the salary we need to save this inside our um our database so then having done that then we have to give a function here we have to give a function here okay uh let me just bring this down here so uh we need to give a function there then we have error we pass error then we pass um results here as well so let's do this okay then the next thing we have to do now is that we have, let's console let's console dot log uh once console dot log um um okay want to get this response that employee um is uh employee details employee details are added are added to database so let's just give that response here so then uh we need to come down here and say that rest dot redirect once everything is all right and uh we are able to save into our database we want to redirect back to um employee here okay we have to redirect back to our, uh, our employee here so i need to put i think uh why is complaining that i need to put this uh colon here okay all right so then having done that now the next thing um we have to do is that um we need to let's define a function for leave now if prevention um you know the employee wants to you know they want to apply for leave you know and send their details to the admin so we want to be able to do that all right so now how i'm going to do that so it's um, just very simple so we're just gonna say router now dot get router dot get then uh we want to have this as our leave here let's put this here all right then we have function then we have function don't forget as usual we passed a request then we pass response here it's a parameter then we'll come down here then we're gonna say db dot uh get all leaf all right get all leaf uh i want to be okay get all leaf uh then we have to uh have this function here i'm gonna pass error this time around again i'm gonna say error okay pass error then we pass um up results as results as well then uh we want to render I'm gonna say rest dot render uh okay what do we want to render oh sorry i think a mistake here so what do we want to render this time i want to render the um the leaf dot ejs well, this leaf dot ejs are the javascript template engine the ejs that will help us to display every of our details at the front end you know at the client side we are going to be using the EGS, the temp temp, I mean JavaScript template agent, as I've explained the other time. So this is what do we want to render? We want to render this leaf.ejs. Are you getting it now? So now, now let's uh, proceed now. So having done that, then don't forget we have to do something here. We have to um, set. We're gonna say user now. Uh, we we'll set it to results. All right. So we set it to results. Then uh, let me break this down to be able to see what I'm doing. So having done that, so the next thing we have to do now is that uh, we want to be able to get the the, the I mean the leaf uh, details now. Are you getting what I'm saying? We want to be able to get it now. I mean, we want to be able to add leaf rather. Sorry, if we want to add it to our database now. So we're gonna say router now for us to be able to do that. Let's first say router dot get. Okay, router uh, dot get. Then um, then uh, what's the next thing now? We have to come down here and say add leaf. Okay. I'm gonna say add leaf then don't forget as usual we're gonna have our function here then we'll do the normal thing we'll be doing 
okay we passed uh request then we passed response all right then uh okay so having done that then we're gonna say rest dot render dot render so what do we want to render this time around we want to render the add uh add underscore leaf okay does ejs all right so uh having done that so the next thing we have to do now is that we want to be able to you know edit um the leaf details we're gonna say router dot um uh, gets okay Rather don't get then we um pass this edit or uh, then we're gonna say edit edit leaf okay um uh, edit leaf then uh once we need to pass id here okay so uh let's say function now we're gonna have function here as well don't forget that we have our request and our response all right then we'll bring um this down there i'm gonna say variable id so we want to be able to get the ID for us to be able to um, edit each of these details. You know, we, want, we need to be able to get the ID. And now we're going to get the ID. That's very simple. I'm gonna say um, um, request dot um, params dot id dot um, params dot id. That's what we need to do to get the ID. Then, having done that, uh, we have to come on. Okay, we have to come down here and say db. Okay, dot um, get leave by id uh get leaf by uh by id all right so we have to say that id now we pass id here then we have our function here again okay? all right then we pass error then we have um results here as well then uh we're gonna come down here okay uh, okay yeah we are correct okay we're gonna come down here we're gonna say rest now dot render okay dot render then we have um, edit uh underscore leaf uh underscore leaf dot ejs all right then uh we need to um say user and uh, give it um the results uh results all right so um that's what we need um, to do there so the next thing we want to do now is that uh okay we need to once the user as edit um once the the user as edits i mean as edit their leave we want to save it back into our database so that is what we want to do next now we want to be able to save it back into um our database so now how are we going to do that all right uh okay okay how are we going to do that so let's just come down here okay i'm uh, gonna say router now okay router uh dot post all right then uh don't forget we've been able to you know get the details out here are you getting it um by id we need we'll be able to get details out there so if after editing what do you want to do next we want to be able to save back into our database so that's what i'm trying to do now after the um, employee has edits you know this leave maybe they want to have two weeks leaves or two uh, i mean maybe they want to have two month leaves they'll give their reasons they'll give um, the type of leave and the likes so after they've been able to edit that then we want to save it back into our database so that's what we want to do here now okay so we're gonna say that um router.post then uh we have to say we want to post inside it edit underscore leave by id okay all right so we're gonna say function now okay function uh okay we're gonna have um request then come on requests all right <laughs> so we have to pass this here then we have to say that um variable now variable id is supposed to um you know require dot dot uh come on dot params params dot id all right okay so then what are the things we want to do now we're gonna say db now db dot edit db dot edit um leaf then we want to we pass id here all right we pass id here then we're gonna have require dot body now body dot uh we want to the name of the employee so the name of the employee that wants to get the leaf then we're gonna have here as well okay let me just to make it fast because we need to repeat this thing several times let me just copy this and paste this here then we need to change this to uh the type of leaf maybe it's, uh you know we have different type of leaf maybe it's um you know maternity leaf uh, i mean maybe sick maybe he's sick and the likes so let's say um leaf um underscore type 
okay so we want to be able to determine the type of leaf so uh other okay we need to do another thing again is to um from that is the date of the leaf which date you want to um have the leaf and when will you be able to return then i'm gonna say to here okay let's say to here let me just uh come down here and break it down okay to that is, we want to be able to get the, the dates in which we want to start the leaf and when the leaf is going to end. So the last thing we have to do is that we want to be able to get the reason. Why do you want to uh, apply for leaf as an employee? Alright, maybe you are sick or you are traveling or maybe it's Christmas period. We want you to be able to give us the reason why you want to apply for this leaf. Alright, so then we're going to come back here and say function now. So we pass, um, we're going to say um, error, then we pass results here as well. So then we we'll come down here okay so then what is the next thing we want to do we want to be able to redirect now when i say rest dot uh, after when everything has been saved in our database so we want to redirect this uh we're gonna say then we have employee then we have employee then we have um leave here as well so okay um, having done that, so the next thing I want to do is that I want to be able to want the employer has to be able to delete um, the leaf as well. I want to be able to delete um, maybe the leaf have expired or anything. Well, we don't want it to uh, leave it there again at database. We want to be able to delete it. So how are we going to do that? It's very simple. We're going to say router now dot um, router dot get. Then uh, we have this to be. Let's pass this to be delete the leads. Okay. Then we're gonna say delete leaf. Then don't forget we have to um, have this ID here for us to be able to know which kind of leaf we want to delete because we don't want to delete all the leaf, just a specific leaf we want to delete. So that's why we need to put that ID here. All right. So okay. Now uh, the next thing we have to do now is that don't forget we have to get the ID first. Okay. We must say variable ID is equals to um, okay. Let's say uh, okay. We have these dot um, uh, dot params. Okay, dot params dot id. Okay. All right. So then we want to say db dot uh, get leave by id. Get leave by id. Then uh, we pass id here. Then we pass our function here as well. Okay. Then uh, we need to pass error here. You know, we're doing that several times, so this should be this should be new to you anyway. So then we have rest dot render, okay? Rest dot render. Then uh, we want to render delete. We want to render delete. Uh, okay, delete dot ejs. Delete dot ejs. Come on. Then we have this. We have user here. Then we'll pass uh, results here as well. Okay. So having done that, so we want to next thing we want to do is that we, after when we might have deletes, we want we need to you know post back into uh, our database. All right, so let me bring this down. Okay, so then we're gonna say that um, okay, let's say router now router dot um, router dot get okay router dot post this time around router dot come on dot post. Then uh, what do you want to post? Where do you want to post? We want to put inside um, the leads, uh, the leads, uh, the leads. Uh, okay, leave by ID. Then we have our function here. We have our function here. Then we'll pass um, request here. Then response as well. It's parameters. So uh, then we need to do some the same thing again. Variable ID is equals to um, request uh, dot uh, params dot params okay dot id all right so then we can we have to come down here say db dot um delete by leaf delete okay delete leaf uh delete leaf then we're gonna say id then we passed uh we have a function here okay by now you should know the kind of function we want uh the kind of parameter we need to pass it as um, the error and the um, results okay the error and the results so let's come down here then we need to re redirect so we're gonna say rest dot redirect okay then we need to redirect inside our um okay we're gonna say employee okay i think uh i need to 
put these here so that we not have issues. We must employee. I'm gonna say employee, then we have um, leaf here as well. So I haven't done that. So um, the next thing we have to do now is that uh, we need to be able to. Uh, I'm trying to see what's the next thing we have to do. We need to be able to. Okay, we've been able to um, delete the leaf now. We're, we're able to delete the leaf. Then the next thing we have to do is that we want to be able to. Uh, so the next thing we have to do is that um, we, we need to be able to. Um, we want the employee to be able to edit there. If you want to edit the details of the employees, you know, we've been able to um, uh, come up here to. Uh, let me see where are we doing that. Okay, we've been able to add the details of these employees. So, what if you want to edit their details? So, that's the next thing we want to do now. So, what if you want to edit their details? We need to be able to do it, edit their details. Let's say they want to, they made a mistake of you know, input a, the wrong email address and they want to come back and to make the, you know, to edit their email address. So, we need to be able to allow them to do that. So, that, how are we going to do that? I'm going to say router now. Dot, uh, okay, let me just to make our work fast. I need just to come up here to uh, okay. Just let me copy this because what, what we want to do is a little bit similar to this. Yeah, so we just need to um, edit some things here. So let's change this to edit employee. Okay, edit employee. Uh, then the next thing we have to do is uh, okay, we need to change this as well to um, db.get employee id get um get a uh, um okay let's see employee uh by id okay let's just give it a short form like that by id so what we want to render this time around is not the edit leave is um edit uh is edit employee okay edit employee dot ejs then this time around is not you say we want to have list but we want to list out okay so that's all what we need to do down there so the next thing we have to do again is that after when we edit we want to post back inside our database so to save us a lot of time again let us come here to copy this ad because we still need to get all these um details here okay let's just come down here uh, and paste that as well so let's change some things there we need to change this to um edit uh edit employee by id okay we need to change that to edit employee by id then we need to get uh we need to get the id okay let me copy this i'm just trying to do this to make our work a little bit more faster so uh okay then we need to uh okay we need we need the id okay we've gotten the id all right so we need the name we need the uh email address and the lights we need the body dot row uh we need the dates so that is all what we need so we have to change this now what will be handling this data in our database we need to change the function that will be handling this data to edit um employee let's just trust it like this so and then we need to change this response employee details uh employee details edited okay I don't know let's just put something i'm playing details edited okay so we need to um change this redirect to uh okay i think we are still redirecting to employee good i think we are still redirecting to employee all right so then having done this so we've been able to let me check if everything is okay if everything is fine okay we just get the id then uh, the date employee does egs then the results as well okay then we redirect once everything is uh once the user has already edited their uh you know their details we want to repost it back inside our database okay everything is good so uh the next thing we have to do now uh is this time around is that okay we want to uh be able to delete employee details all right we want to be able to delete the employee details so how are we going to do that so we, uh let's just come here and copy this it's similar to this as well to make um according to be fast okay so let's we need to change some things here this time around we, we want to uh okay we just need to change some things delete employee let's change this to delete employee okay so let's change this to get first okay to get then uh all right so let me see what do we want to render this time around is uh we need to change this here uh, to delete 
delete uh then we need to say delete on the underscore employee dot ejs so this time around we are not redirecting we need just want to render okay so we're gonna say render all right we just want to render so then uh we have to pass um this list here i'm gonna say list then uh we have results as well okay we have um, results so the next thing we have to do again is that we need to post now uh, we need to post so we just need to change some things here as well so let's change this to delete employee this time around delete employee then um or uh, delete employee then we we have to change okay i think uh we need to change this to uh from this to get uh dot get uh, employee by id okay get employee by id so that is we need to change this as well to delete um delete employee all right so then we have to change this to uh employee this time around that we want to redirect to so i think everything is correct now so um the last thing we have to do is that we want to be able to search for uh let's say you know we have let's say hundreds of employees in our database you know it's very stressful for you to be strolling down through or looking for the details of those employees so we want to be able to search just by you typing um either uh, the you know you typing their name or you typing their you know maybe their id or, or, or something like that so that you'll be able to get that specific um detail let's say for example you have john doe as one of your um, employee details so and you want to be able to out of the hundred list of data you have in your database you want to be able to get just john doe out you want to be able to do it that once you search you know you'll be able to get the details out so that was the last function we need to create so guys let's just do this now so let's just say router now okay router dot post uh I've, i think i've done something similar like this let me check inside this db controller here for the for doctor details yeah i've done something similar so let me just come here copy this guy here let me just copy this and come inside our employee and paste so let me see if everything is okay so we have to change this to from search dot to search employee okay to search employee then this time around what we want to render is uh we need to render employee we need to render employee.ejs then let's change this to um, employee this time around employee come on what happened uh we need to change come on okay let me undo this to um, employee okay to employee so that is all i think let me check if everything is fine then i want to console log results then uh i've been able to search then well uh, let's see now this time around so the next thing we have to do is that uh okay that is not the last thing we have to do we want to uh validate the you know those forms we need to validate most especially for this our for the details for of the employee and this leaf we want to validate them okay that was the last thing we have to do so that um if the employee did not fill every of those details they will not be able to save i guess it now so we want to validate each of these uh um, the the name we want to validate the name the name the email the contact the joint dates they must be able to provide details for them to be able to apply for this leaf so now to do that uh we have to just come down here we're going to use express uh, validator to do this quickly Okay, we're gonna say router now dot um, dot post. Okay, router dot post. Then we have this here to be add underscore leaf. Okay, Ooh, that, that's called leaf. Then uh, we need to have this uh, bracket here. Okay, so let us come down here. I'm gonna say check. So check uh, check if name is available. Let's see, pass name here. Then we're gonna say dot pass say dot not uh empty dot not empty okay okay it must not be empty then we need to do that for uh the id we need to do that for the leaf type we need to do that as well okay let me quickly copy this guy here um paste this 
uh, uh, then we need to paste this here too so you need to do this for id okay we need to do this for id we need to do this for uh leaf type okay you must be able to provide the details for us leaf uh leaf type all right so then let me paste this then we have to do this from okay let's have from here so but this time i want to give a message we don't just want to make it empty uh we want to give a message okay with say dot with uh message so what's the message you want to give you want to send a message that you must um, provide us you must select a date let's say select um, a date select a date that is the message okay let me copy this as well so uh let me paste this down here okay so we need to do two as well so that's it too so the same um message you want to give select a date so let's come down here then let's want to do give a uh, check for reasons okay let's say reason why you want to take a leave so reason then you uh specify a reason so let's give a message for that specify a reason all right specify a reason so what's the next thing we have to do okay so uh, let me come down here and give um, a comma then we're gonna say function now let's say function then uh we'll say that's request dot uh i mean request response so we pass that as a parameter so then we want to say that constant error constant uh errors is equals to um validation results valley uh, i think you should suggest something validation okay validation uh results validation results okay then uh we have this to be required okay let me check if this validator if we have set it up here if it's not there then we have to no other is not suggesting it for me we have to um do this validator we, we've not called express validator here let me see you i've done this in one of my uh okay this is it i have to copy this here from my login details then we'll come down here and paste and paste this so that is why if not we'll be able to we'll be getting validation results of on uh, is undefined so because come on where am i okay uh, okay so um we've been able to bring that here down so we can now be able to use this validation of uh, results down here okay all right so then we need to then what's the next thing we have to do now is that uh we need to okay have this here then the next thing we have to do is that we want to say if if there is no error okay if there is no error all right there is no errors then dots uh we have is empty okay so let's put this here then uh we have to come down here and say that return okay we want to return a json now and also return rest dot status press the status then that is um we have four to two to know more about different this uh, status we have four one we have um two zero one just go go to google and read more about um this status code so we're gonna say the json now okay then we have uh we have this um errors uh, okay we have these errors then let's pass uh errors dot array okay dot um array all right so then the last thing we have to do is that uh we need to come down here to say that db okay dot um uh, add leaf now db dot add leaf all right db dot add leaf then we need to uh pass something some things here that is uh, we need to pass um request dot body request dot body dot name okay let me see if I can copy it so that instead of us repeating it all over again, all over again. Let me just come down here. Let me copy this from here. Okay. Let me copy this from here. Then uh, let me paste this down here. I don't think I don't need the ID. I don't need the ID. So the only thing I need is this name, email. Let me copy, come down here, uh, copy this just to save us time. Okay so let me copy this and uh paste 
uh, it, yeah, it's telling us repeating it several times. Then, uh, okay, we have to say function now. We're gonna say function, all right? We're gonna say function. Then we pass um, error and result here. Okay, let me bring it. Let me bring it down. Plus, it will not be too long. So then we have uh, results here as well. So let's bring it this here. So what we want to do now? I want to say rest dot redirect. Okay, rest dot um, redirect. Then we have to come down here and say employee. I have to say employee. Then we have um, leave as well. Okay, so that's all what we need to do. I know it's the the code is pretty much. Uh, I mean, kind of much. Uh, I'm sorry for that anyway. So this is all what we have to do. This is all what we have to do to. Uh, I mean, in our uh, controller now because we still need to go inside our model now. All this add employee, this get all leave. These are the ones. These are the functions that we'll be adding them in our model because here we are. What we are trying to do is that we are sending this name, email, contact, join this role, salary, and the likes. We are sending it inside this ad employee. So we have to come down inside our debris controller. Then we'll come here, you know, as we'll be doing here for some of these things here. So we have to come down here and you know define the functions and save them in our database. So um, I'm going to stop this video now because I mean it's it's kind of getting too long. And as you should know, I don't like making too long videos because at the end of the day, you might get bored and what you ought to learn or you know what you ought to gain from the video, you might not be able to gain it. So I'm going to stop here. So in my next video, what I'm just going to know is that we are going to concentrate on this on our DB controller. That's what we need to concentrate on because we need to be able to, uh, you know, all those data we are getting. You know the um, the body, the email. I mean the email, the contacts, the you know those things. We need to save them in our database. So we need to handle them in our DB controller. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I am, I'm sorry for it. maybe the, the video is getting too long or something. So I'm very sorry for that. Um, anyway, but I believe um it's worth your time, and uh, I know you've learned one or two things um, from this channel. So guys, as a payback, kindly hit the subscribe button. Don't just watch, subscribe. I mean, so that this video will be able to reach as many people as possible, so that they'll be able to learn as well. Just hit the subscribe button. It's free. It costs you nothing. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I mean, so so grateful for taking your time to learn um, from this channel and for taking your time to watch this video ah, i'm so so grateful so guys see you in my next video and see your host see your friends see your brother steven thank you so much for taking your time to watch see you in my next video thank you